Hey coders, what's up? It's Chris and I'm here with episode 6 of how to make a YouTube video app. In the previous lesson we had gone through downloading the video thumbnail for our videos and displaying them in the cells of the UI table view. In this lesson we're going to display the labels. So as you can see here we have a variable called video title or a constant rather because the let keyword is used and we've got the video title for the video that the table view is asking for and right now we're not doing anything with it so Xcode is giving us a warning here. So let's go ahead and go into our storyboard and add a label to our cell. So down here I'm going to search for UI label like that and I'm just going to drag it into here our cell in the content view right here in the document outline make sure that your label is on top of your image view which means that it's actually uh, underneath it in this document outline because otherwise if it's like this then the image view will be covering the label so you want to make sure that it's like that next we're going to add some constraints to the label so make sure your label is clicked go down here click this guy uncheck constraint to margins and I'm gonna do left right and bottom so I want to anchor it I want to give it a left margin because if you do zero then the text is going to start right at the edge of the label so I'm going to put 20 and on the right side 20 so it matches and on the bottom I'm going to put zero and as for height oops make sure that that doesn't change on you so press uh, zero tab I'm going to add a height constraint as well and for this guy I'm going to put 80 just to eyeball it and then I'm going to press tab again and add these four constraints. Now let's update frames so we can see our label is there. Okay, and in order to access it from the cell for row at index path method, we're going to give this guy a tag, but it has to be a different tag than our image view. So remember, if I click the image view, we can see that the tag is one. We're going to retrieve the label with a tag of by default zero I'm gonna put two okay so now let's jump back to the view controller so we've got our video title here in the cell for row at index path method and we're not doing anything with it so let's go ahead and write some comments get the label for the prototype cell or uh, just write cell so let label equals cell view with tag and we pass in two and now we got to tell Xcode it's a label. So we're going to use as exclamation mark UI label. And now we're simply going to set the text property of that label. So label dot text equals video title. Now let's run it and see what we get. Okay, so we do see the labels here and you can see the longer ones actually get cut off. So we need to make our label multiple lines. And also, I wanted to put a black view underneath so that the text really pops. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into the storyboard, click the label. I'm going to change the color to white. And then I'm going to click this font, choose custom, and I'm going to just set it as bold so it stands out a little more. And we need to make it multiple lines. So for the number of lines, just press the down arrow here to put it to zero, or you can just type in zero. Uh, so now let's run it and see how it looks. Okay, so now we have white text, which is even harder to see, but we're going to put that black background on it. And you can see now it splits it into two lines. Okay, so let's go ahead, go back to our storyboard and search for UI view here. I'm going to drag a view into uh, the cell. But in here, make sure that the view is behind the label or else the view will be blocking the label. So make sure it's image view and then the view and then the label. So for the view, I'm going to change it into a black color. And let's add some constraints on this view. So click the UI view, go down here and uncheck constraint to margins. I'm going to add left, right and bottom margins. So this one, I do want it to the edge of the cell. So zero, zero, zero. Okay, uh, for height, we're gonna put 80 because that's what we put for the label. Add four constraints, update frames. Now let's run it to see how that looks. 
Okay, so the view is in the place we want, but it'd be nice to add a little transparency to that. So we can go back to the storyboard and click the view. You can either um, change the transparency here to 0 0.5 to make it a little dimmer, or there's another way. Uh, you can leave the alpha as one, but you can click the background color and it out pops this color. And you can change the actual color to be a 50% opacity black. So the difference is that in this case, because our view doesn't contain any elements, it doesn't matter what which of these two techniques that we choose. But for example, if the view actually contained some elements, then setting the alpha would also change all of the alpha values for all of the elements inside the view. I mean, it wouldn't actually change the alpha values for the elements inside the view, but they would all appear dimmed simply because the parent container itself is dimmed. Uh, so if you had elements inside the view and you merely wanted the background color to be transparent, then you would do this way by clicking the uh, background color and simply changing the color itself to 50%. But if you wanted all of the elements inside your UI view to also be semi-transparent, then you would change this alpha value. So just a quick tip for the future. Okay, so now let's run it again and take a look at the faded label. Okay, so that looks good. So in this video, we're also going to try something cool because in the previous episode 5, there was a comment left by Strange Productions and letting me know that there is a way to get the maximum quality thumbnails. So this is the string max res default .jpg. Um, So let's give that a try. Thank you, Strange Productions, for watching and letting us know that. Now let's go with the view controller and let's change that. Instead of MQ default, it's max res default. Right, let's just confirm that, maxresdefault.jpg. So let's run it. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I definitely can right here. Thank you so much, Strange Productions. That's amazing. It looks so much better. Awesome. Okay, so it was a shorter video today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please share it with your colleagues and friends. Share it on social media. Uh, help me build more subscribers on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe and like yourself. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 12. Okay, take care, guys. Bye-bye.